Well, we're back in the greenhouse again. Another nice November day. A good day to get some more work done here with our cleaning situation. So we're going to do some more power washing, some cleaning of the insect exclusion in the back, and we're also going to clean off the shade paint that we put on this summer. So it should be a very productive day. Good morning everybody. Today is day two of power washing. Uh, the first thing we're going to do this morning is get this thrip cleaned up. This is thrip screen. It's in our insect exclusion. It's actually one section of the bay. So we're going to spray this with a deck cleaner with our foaming gun and it should kind of take all the algae off this. Initially I put it through the power washer, but I used a pump sprayer after that and it seemed to really kind of soak it a little bit better and this strip screams really tough so uh, power washing doesn't hurt it at all and I think that's good. Looks like a good job to me. So we thought we'd take advantage of it and come outside and do some cleanup around the farm. Gonna take these big logs down and split them on the wood splitter so we can use them for the heating this winter.
greenhouse is not north to south, it's more east to west. We always coat this one side with the shade paint. That's why Doug's spraying this down. pretty productive day today for Doug. He got a lot of power washing done, the insect exclusion cleaned, and he got the shade paint remover painted onto the greenhouse here. So what you need to do with this is wait for heavy rain to come and washes it off. So tonight we're expecting a heavy rain. And one other good thing is he got everything sprayed on here before the winds picked up this afternoon. So some of the other videos we have coming up are going to be putting the strawberry plants to bed for the winter and getting the high tunnel all closed up. So please remember to like and subscribe and leave me any comments, questions, or suggestions down below.